Well, fishers, we've got a pretty good report for you this week. Some hot fishing in some areas. Just got a report from Dartmouth. It's not too bad at the moment. Uh, most of the fish are getting caught between the surface and about 15 to 20 feet. Occasionally, you'll have to get down to 30 or 40, but the majority of them, flatline trolling is going to do the job. Tassie seem to be working quite okay. Some quality fish coming out of it. Just a trick this time of year, and I'll probably everybody knows about it anyway, Go and hunt around where the creek mouths and river mouths come in because that's where a lot of your spawning trout are going to concentrate and they will still feed before they go up to spawn so things are looking pretty good there. Mid of river, a couple of reports in there weren't too bad, uh, mainly bait fishing. Hume Weir, <coughs> I only choked myself, Hume Weir, uh, they're getting some good fish out of it but they're working pretty hard for them, some nice red fin. That's all, no trout, no yellows, no cod but red fin. But we haven't had many good red fin this season so that's been a bit of a problem. But the fantastic fishing is the Murrumbidgee River and Old Man Creek. It is just unbeatable at the moment. You'll notice that the river's quite low, so very hard to get around if you, you want a bit of a red head, but if you take it nice and slow, it'll be all right. Uh, and the water is very clear. The lure fishermen are out fishing the bait fishermen 10 to 1 at the moment. Bait fishing's a bit tough because it is so clear, but the lure fishing is phenomenal. Uh, hard bodies, spinner baits, take your pick. It doesn't really that amount matter that much. Uh, if you're into casting uh, hard body lures, medium hammerhead's been one of the standouts of late. Also the extractors and uh, the orgy plows in the 60 mil seem to be okay at the moment. A little bit of trolling's okay, but you'll find that you have to pick your spots there, obviously. Getting a few reports out about blowering and bar and juck and that, but look, it's almost impossible to drive past our river, so if you want to get stuck into it, go for it. Yukon Bean River, tremendous. Yukon Bean Dam, tremendous, and same goes for Tantangra. So as you can see, Plenty of fishing around us. Good luck and good fishing for next week.